Hello everyone, welcome back to another session on dentistry and more. So we are continuing our sessions on the instruments. So last session uh, we finished the instrument design, instrument formula, the nomenclature and various classification. This session is about uh, various instruments and its uses in operative dentistry. Uh, mouth mirrors, uh, there are basically two types of mouth mirrors. The first one is uh, the front surface reflecting and the second one is uh, rear surface reflecting. The basic difference between these two is this uh, rear surface reflecting shows a double image. So you can see the picture here. It shows a double image. Uh, it appears to be a little uh, inside the mouth mirror. Okay. So this is a front surface which is uh, appears to be on above the case of that uh, mouth mirror ring. Mouth mirror is a very commonly asked short knot. Now though it looks very easy, uh, there are many points uh, to be written in mouth mirror that is the two types of mouth mirrors and why it is different. So this flat mirrors, uh, that is this one, most commonly used and preferred for most procedures. Uh, there are uh, concave that is magnifying mirrors are also available in the market nowadays so as i mentioned there are two types front surface and rear surface so the rear surface has a reflective surface beneath the glass okay so that the image is actually seen through the thickness of the glass twice okay so this is a double image so this can produce a double image when it is necessary to look at the mirror from an angle. But the glass surface means that it is resistant to damage. Uh, the front surface mirrors produce a clearer image, uh, particularly at ankles. Uh, but uh, they are easily uh, scratched and so care should be taken, particularly during the cleaning and sterilization because it is very prone to uh, scratching and uh, breakage this is a uh, little bit uh, a protected uh, which is present inside this uh, casing so the rear surface mirrors can be used for general purposes and for retracting the tongue and cheeks uh, reserving the front surface mirror for detailed examination so this is a handle of uh, mouth mirrors uh, there are many types of handles present. Uh, next we have forceps and tweezers uh, that all of you know uh, what is the purpose of uh, forceps and tweezers. Uh, we have uh, cotton forceps, hemostats, articulating paper forceps. Uh, tweezers uh, are hand instruments with two narrow and pointed straight or curved beaks to grasp small objects. It is arms with a locking device uh, which is joined at one end and other end remains apart so it is basically helping us to carry things to and from the mouth carrying cotton rolls uh, sponge pellets and carrying saliva soft cotton rolls from the oral cavity to the waist unit and the locking tweezer uh, it has a locking device to maintain the beaks in a closed position until released. So this avoids the unnecessary uh, anxiety of the operator at the possibility of slippage of whatever is carried by the tweezer. Next uh, is a common uh, restoring instruments uh, such as mixing instruments, cement spatula, agate spatula. It is very uh, easy one all of you must be knowing spatulas it is flat and wide nips with blend edges uh, straight shanks and it is made up of stainless steel and plastic uh, double ended instrument like a blend end for manipulating impression materials and the sharp end for mixing cements so it is used for manual mixing of cements supplied as powder and liquid the problem when these types of question comes uh, you might be knowing it very well, but you won't get exact points because only the points will fetch your marks So these are these the points like the types stainless steel plastic and the two ends One is double-ended and the next one is sharp and when you write all these points you get good marks 
Now the packing instruments like amalgam carrier, uh, it's a stainless steel instrument used for carrying a uh, mixed amalgam to the cavity. So there will be a hollow tip of an amalgam carrier which will be inserted into the mixed amalgam. Uh, then it will carry to the cavity. Condensing instruments like amalgam condenser, uh, mechanical is there, hand instruments is there, uh, gold condenser also present. Uh, these hand condenser are double entered instruments with the nibs uh, coming in different size. One is small and one is bigger. We can use it depending upon the size of the cavity. So nibs will be of round, elliptical, diamond, triangular, parallelogram, rectangular, large, small, serrated, non-serrated types are there. Uh, and we have burnishing instruments. They are rounded edges used to polish or burnish the surface of metallic restriction. Uh, again, it is also having various types, ball, egg, apple shaped, conical, or glass, fish tail. Then uh, we can use these uh, burnishers to shape metal matrix bands so that they impart more desirable contours to the restriction when we use it for the class 2 amalgam restriction and also to bend cast gold near the margins to narrow the gap between the gold and the tooth. Next we have carving instruments, hand instruments with a blade or nip used to contour the surface of filling material in their plastic state. So holland back cover, it is knife edged elongated by beveled one, then the diamond cover, uh, watsy cover, discoid, cleared cover and proximal cover. So holland back diamond and uh, ward one blade is parallel to the long axis of the instrument and the other is perpendicular to the axis of the instrument. So instrument used for placing and condensing restorative material, a set of four titanium nitride instruments used for placing and shaping composite. This is a composite kit. The surface of the instrument is very hard and is not uh, scratched by the composite filler particles. It is also resisting the composite uh, sticking to it so this is a flat plastic uh, then the carving in instrument then the burnisher and plugger for the composite uh, whereas this one stainless steel plastic instrument use uh, when the materials are in its plastic state that is we can uh, modify it we can mold it we can burnish it we can carve it Okay, once it is set, it is no more a plastic uh, nature, it is a completely a hard uh, restoration. So stainless steel plastic instruments, this is amalgam condenser, then the burnisher, carving instrument uh, and a flat plastic instrument. Uh, cutting instrument application, we have excavators, uh, ordinary hatchet excavator. The cutting edge of blade directed in the same plane as that of the long axis of the handle. So it is used primarily on anterior teeth for preparing retentive areas and sharpening internal line angles, mainly for the uh, gold restoration. Whereas this one is hoe excavator, the cutting edge is perpendicular to the axis, used for uh, the tooth preparation walls and forming line angles, commonly used in class 3 and class 5 preparation. The angle former, okay. The angle former used for sharpening the line angles and creating retentive features in dentine in preparation of gold restoration. Also used in placing bevels on enamel margins. Whereas the spoon excavator, which is very commonly used to excavate the uh, caries, uh, and which can be used for carving amalgam and wax pattern, blades are slightly curved and cutting edges are either circular or claw like shanks are uh, bi angled or triple angled to facilitate the accessibility now the important one is the chisels uh, they are primarily for cutting enamels straight chisel a straight shank and blade with bevel on uh, one side primary edge perpendicular to the axis of the handle these are uh, the straight chisels shank and blade of chisel may be slightly curved uh, primary cutting edge then plane perpendicular to the long axis of the handle and may have either a distal bevel or mesial bevel 
then the enamel hatchet uh, a larger blade heavier and beveled on one side rather than the ordinary hatchet so the cutting edge in a plane parallel with the long axis of the handle used for cutting enamel and comes as right or left types for use of opposite side of the preparation uh, next we have gingival marginal trimmer or GAMT which is very commonly as short knot it is nothing but to produce proper bevel on gingival enamel margins of proximo occlusal preparation and this blade is curved and primary cutting edge is at an angle so there are two types right and left type used for mesial and distal side so the second number in the instrument formula uh, if it is 90 to 100 we can uh, use it for distal marginal uh, gingival margin 85 to 75 for the mesial margin 175 for inlay only preparation with steep gingival bevel 90 and 85 for amalgam preparation with gingival enamel bevel that declined gingivally and used for rounding or beveling of the axio pulpal line angle of two surface preparation the pair with the end of the cutting edge farthest from the shaft forming an angle is termed as distal and is used to bevel the distal marginal or accentuate a mesial axio gingival line angle so this is the distal gingival marginal ridge where the cutting edge is farthest from the shaft the cutting edge is this one this is farthest which is very far from the shaft compared to this one this is closer to the shaft so the pair with the acute angle of the cutting edge is closest to the shaft is mesial so this is mesial because cutting edge is closer to the shaft and it is used to bevel a mesial gingival margin or accentuate a distal axio gingival angle so it is used in proximal box of cluster preparation with horizontal strokes to scrape the gingival wall and margin used in vertical or chopping stroke to plane a facial or lingual wall and margin uh, other cutting instruments include knives uh, like amalgam knives gold knives for trimming excess restorative material on gingival facial or lingual margins or trimming and contouring the classifier restoration and also to sharpen the secondary edges of uh, on the heel aspect of the blade so the sharp secondary edge on the heel aspect of the blade are very useful in scrape pull mode so we have files it is used to trim excess restorative material which is used uh, at gingival margins and we can use a push or pull instrument discoid cleoid is used principally for carving occlusal anatomy in unset amalgam restoration so this session was about uh, various instruments which you are very familiarized but you need to have good points to write uh, to get marks so this gingival marginal trimmer is very commonly asked question the chisel or hatchet excavators can be asked and this plastic filling instruments or the mouth mirror mouth mirror is commonly asked so next we have uh, the finger grasp the grasp techniques and the uh, finger rest after that we have forehand dentistry okay i'll come with the finger grasp and hand rest in my next session thank you